Hi everybody, this is Jamie with C4 Depot, and I've noticed that there are a lot of very talented 3D artists out there that are just totally intimidated by Espresso. And I'd like to lower that threshold of intimidation and show you how to set up a little Espresso rig and to get started with Espresso. So, um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to um, put something into our scene. And let's put a cube in and then let's um, put this cube into a null object. There's no reason why you need to do that, but let's just assume that this null is the top of your hierarchy. And let's label it my Espresso rig. Okay. Now, let's highlight our Espresso rig, which has the cube in it. And let's go into user data and do manage user data. And let's add a group and pull this thing out of the hierarchy, otherwise it won't show up in this little tab down here. And let's call this my Espresso rig. All right. And then let's add some data, add data. And I don't know what we're, we'll call this a switch. I, I don't really know um, what it is. But the most common Espresso tool, I suppose, if you will, is a boolean and we're going to hit boolean now boolean is just a checkbox we think of a boolean as you know like subtracting geometry or something but this is probably some sort of a logic phrase i don't know really where the word comes from but let's just call it a a switch and let hit let's hit okay now let, let's highlight this and, and take a gander oh look at that my espresso rig and it's got this little checkbox that says switch in it isn't that cool? And you just made an interface. So let's now add an Espresso tag. Put that in there. And that should pop up this little graph paper for your Espresso. Now let's drag in your Espresso rig into the graph paper. And open this up. And let's go hunt for that user data in this little red box over here. And... Uh, my Espresso rig. There it is. Switch. Now you've just created your first port, which is now connected to your user interface here. So let's drag something into the graph paper. Let's just grab this cube, grab it into here. And what do we want this cube to do? Well, one of the most common things uh, would be to look at the basic properties and say, um, well, what, what would happen if we enabled the cube? Let's just hook that up and see what happens. We'll drag a little noodle over there and turn the switch on and boom, your cube shows up. You can make the cube go away. Cube on, cube off, cube on, cube off. And you've just made it a little espresso rig. Now, I'm not going to go over all the bazillion things that you can do um, with all these functions, but this is the beginning for setting up an espresso interface in Cinema 4D. And we'll go over maybe some other things later. I think the range mapper is the Swiss Army knife of all the functions in, in Cinema 4D, and I'll probably go over that later. But this is just to show you how easy it is to set up a user interface for an Espresso rig in Cinema 4D. And that's it for right now. We'll talk to you later, and we'll see you at the depot. Bye-bye now.